Assalamualaikum and welcome to another episode of Zilfit TV. Today, I'm going to try to install the new uh, Eleco Presera insert platform which I got for the architect exhibition which you might have seen in my previous uh, vlog. So, we are here in my showroom at the new headquarters. So, I'm I'm applying all the finishing touches. I'm trying to, uh, you know, uh, arrange all the equipment that I have, bring up the equipment firstly, and then uh, arrange them uh, on this floor. So today I'm just going to work on the, or I'm going to continue to work on the Presera half rack and also the insert. But specifically, I want to touch on the, uh, the platform insert. So I started work on this uh, yesterday and I couldn't finish it on time. And mind you, I'm doing this all by myself. So if you do purchase this platform insert, be sure to have a friend help you out uh, installing this platform. Uh, although I'm here to say and I'm here to prove that you can do this by yourself. You just need the right tools. Uh, the reason that you can do it by yourself is uh, number one, the the wooden platform here is now divided into two. So it's easier for you to actually carry it by, your, uh, by yourself. Uh, previously, it was just a single piece of wood and that was too heavy for a single person to actually lift. So this is more uh, convenient in the sense that uh, it's easier to lug around, you know. First, let's check out the manual. So basically, it assumes that you already have the Prestera half rack. And um, the first thing that you need to do is to take off the, um, the, the cap uh, on the foot of the Prestera. So we've taken this off during the Archidex. And uh, once you have the insert, you don't need this anymore. And uh, mine is a little bit dusty and rusty because uh, this track was flooded twice, if I'm not mistaken. So that's why it's like that. Okay. Next, um, you have to lay down the, the foam, which, I, which I've already done. And then uh, you lay the two pieces of uh, wooden platform here. Uh, I hope you can see that from the video. So these are the two wooden platform. Uh, by the way, the platform doesn't, doesn't come in blue, it comes in the standard grey. This is actually a sticker on top of the platform which I got. So uh, the sticker has the Eleco logo. Uh, this thing you can actually do by yourself. Uh, you can engage a local printer um in your neighborhood and then um, they can i think they can just print it out and then stick it onto the platform so that's not nothing uh, too difficult for anyone to do next there is this piece of metal a thin metal which you insert um, in between the two wooden platform and it's meant to keep them in place and um, I, 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 I can just show you the slit on the, on the wooden platform, but obviously I can't wait. I think I can. Hold on. Let's see. Okay, this piece of metal here, you can actually pull out. I don't have my uh, screwdriver to just uh, yank it out, but this is the, the, the piece of metal I was referring to. There's a slit right there and uh, here so it goes right in it's not too difficult to slot that in so so far so good now the next step you will take the three metal pieces here which uh, goes on the side and the back of the platform all right so this is the piece of metal that I was referring to this part and this part 
Now, slotting these pieces of metal, not that difficult. So basically what you need to do is to push the, um, the, the foam and also the wooden platform all the way to the back um, because you will have to screw the, the, the metal pieces um, to the frame of the presser half rack. So you need to get it as close as possible to the back frame. <laughs> This one, this is the Prestera, so you need to push it as close as possible to the back. So the idea behind this new uh, platform insert is that there is no gap between the platform and also the rack itself. So it looks like a single piece of equipment, which, which looks very nice. Next, we have these two pieces of um, Oh, I don't know what you call it. Um, corner, well, corner pieces, and um, just follow the instruction, and it goes right here. Okay. I haven't I haven't tightened the screws yet uh, because I just want to keep it loose uh, for a while. The next step is to bolt that corner piece and all the metal pieces around the wooden platform onto the rack okay this is the back of the rack and those are the screws that goes in and connects the thin metal piece to the rack okay now this is where it gets a little bit tricky and uh, it's not difficult but I'm just wondering why it was designed so. Now, let me explain. If you've already done all the steps according to the manual, when you want to insert the nuts, the, the, sorry, the bolts, through from the Prestera, so it comes from the outside, and then uh, through the, the, the feet of the Prestera, the holes, and then into the the frame pieces, right? The um, the thin metal pieces that, I've, that I mentioned. It the holes will not align unless you jack up the Prestera a little bit. Okay, so this is what I did. Okay, so in order for me to actually put this bolt through, so it has to go through um, this hole, the other hole at the other end, and uh, into this the hole on. This particular corner piece. Similarly, um, if you can see from here, also there's another bolt here that goes into the side thin pieces that I was, I was mentioning. Now, the the holes doesn't align. So what I did was, I have to. I hope you can see this. I used a um, what is this spanner, and then I lifted up the platform and then just put it inside there and then the holes will align and then you put the bolts through As you, if you notice that I haven't tightened this up I just wanted to make sure that it connects and then uh, once everything is in place then only I tighten it up so what that does is that when, when, you, when I took out the uh, spanner from underneath the, um, the, the rack as you can imagine, the rack now, because the platform is, um, is, is, is uh, higher and the screws are elevate the screws through uh, the screws that we put through to the, uh, the screws that we put through the Prestera is now elevated as well. That makes the Prestera slightly elevated. I don't know whether I'm explaining this correctly. Uh, my English is horrible but uh, maybe I can show you. Now, it's not to say that the platform is not uh, un uh, unbalanced or wobbly. It's not wobbly at all. So if, you, if I show you, it's, it's actually very, very firm, very, very uh, solid. Uh, but if, if, if I were to shake the platform, and also, so mind you, I haven't connected the, 
the top piece yet but uh, maybe I, I maybe I should have connected that first but it is it's it's shaking you know because it is not firmly 100% on the ground you know what I mean because the screw has just elevated it a bit so it, it moves <sighs> I'm really struggling to explain this to you guys but I hope you understand right so it's not firmly um, on the floor okay so later I will just hook up uh, the the cross member and then we will show again whether the rack itself is wobbly or not the platform not an issue it's just the rack and uh, I'm just going to show if we were to do any um, uh, workouts on the rack that it's actually very safe so the next step is to put the bonded foam on the sides the, the actually the landing zone and then the the dense rubber mat on top or before that there's another layer of black foam and then the the dense um, rubber mat so let's just move this uh, open bar aside I have the uh, bonded foam right here. Now, this may look um, square, but it's not. One edge is uh, longer than the other. So the longer edge goes like this. Okay, so let's see whether I got this right. Because just by eyeballing it, sometimes you can't tell. But when you put it together, you can see one edge is uh, one side is longer than the other. See? Uh, you cannot see. So this is uh, shorter, that means I turn it over like this, okay? Very easy, very simple. Then you put this, it's called ARP something, but it's just uh, a foam. Put it here. Oh, maybe the wrong side, maybe like this. Yes, I think this is it. Um, my experience is that sometimes these are not cut cut perfectly and it's okay right because um, I think once you lay everything and put everything together what you want is that it looks very snug and that everything is where it should be right anything underneath is not a concern Now comes the, uh, not to say difficult, it's just heavy, the, the hard part, uh, the, the, the dense rubber, okay. Um, you can still carry it on your own, but only over short distance because this is, this is really, really heavy and cumbersome and awkward to actually carry it over a distance. So I usually just drag it <laughs> or if I have a friend to help then we we'll just carry it. Both of us will carry it together. Okay. Next comes the the frame of the platform. Now this particular piece there are two slits. One over here and one over there. But one is shorter than the other. The shorter one goes inside. So Remember when I said that, uh, the, remember the, the, corner, the corner piece right here? Um, so we actually attach it to uh, a bracket and that bracket is just hanging there because I haven't tightened it up. Uh, that's the reason is because we need to slot it inside this particular slit. Okay, next, what we have to do is to insert the nuts into the uh, corner plate to the bracket so I have here all of the four corner plates and then the bracket so you just screw them on together but do not tighten it up uh, make sure that it's this thing is just hanging okay I've assembled the corner pieces together already this is how it should look like now, I uh, just want to point out 
uh, something about the powder coating of, uh, of all the uh, new equipment from Eleco. I'm not too sure whether that you can see it, see the quality from the video, but this feels really, 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 really nice. And this is the same as the uh, IPF training platform, not the IPF training platform, the powerlifting training platform that we have. The powder coat feels very similar and it's really nice. Obviously, this is a little bit dirty because of the exhibition, the architects that we went to last week. And uh, this place, this whole place is a bit dusty, but it's really gorgeous. It's really, really nice. This is a really bad angle. <laughs> the next step now is just to put the, the corner piece uh, into the frame here. Um, just slot it in through the slit. Make sure that the, um, the L bracket gets uh, into the slit and if, when you lift it up, it's, it's actually locked, you see? I can just carry the, this uh, frame piece, okay? And, and that's it, then you tighten it up, do all four corners. Well, actually, according to the manual, it's just to do this corner first and the, the one on the other side. I also want to show you something. Um, so this is the corner that we just slotted in, right? And if you can see, there's a gap here between the dense rubber tile and the frame. And underneath that is actually the black foam that uh, you've seen earlier. Now, I'm not too sure whether I've done this correctly because I don't like to see these kind of things. <laughs> I like to see things perfectly um, jive well together that there's no gaps that everything looks exactly like in the manual right obviously the manual is just an illustration but in actual in in actuality um, there will be some minor gaps minor gaps okay no problem but this one not minor so i really i really don't know whether I've done this correctly. I think I have. Um, let me show you, let me give you my reasoning. Uh, so you were looking at this end, now I'm showing you this particular end. This is the meeting point between the, the first wooden platform and the other one, right? So the rubber tiles can only go that far, right? So initially I thought that maybe, there well, cannot be any other way right because this edge of the rubber mat cannot go cannot be here then you have a big gap right there so this is as far as it can go and when it comes to this particular plate this this um the edge plate here um once it is bolted on to the frame that's as far as it goes right you can't move it forward and the the frame piece right here is attached to this corner piece and if this thing cannot be moved forward this thing cannot be moved forward and therefore you have that gap what do you guys think did i do it wrong i may have done it wrong if you know how if if you've purchased this insert platform before let me know what you did to close this gap or is this gap um, how it's supposed to be. Let me know in the comment section. So I've taken out the side and front frame pieces and now it's just a matter of uh, connecting them together. Now, the, th the thing that you have to do is that first you take the side frame piece right here and then you slot it inside the corner, um, corner piece at the edge of the inside of the platform, right? And um, for the outer part right here, what you need to do is just to connect the corner piece to the long front piece here first at both ends. Because what you want to do is that you will then push it in to the side frame pieces. If you connect the corner piece to the side frame piece right here, then it will be very difficult for you to 
actually um, push this particular frame inside. Now, another reason why you don't want to lock everything um, uh, initially is so that the, the frame actually, because you want everything to fit in snugly, right? And in order to do that, you need to make sure that everything is loose. Once you have everything together, you kick the frame pieces in, right? As tight as possible. Once everything is tight, then you screw everything in. Okay, the, does that make sense? Okay, here we go. So, this is pretty loose. Now, I just want to make sure that doing this with one hand is difficult. If you can see uh, right there. Wait, hold on. Okay, see this, this thing right here? It slots right in. Don't push it all the way in because you still need to do the other side. Okay. We go to the other side. Similarly, make sure that make sure that that particular bracket is in the slit, and then just this is where now you give it a kick like that. Obviously, please wear shoes. Oh, this side came out, but if I kick it. You see, it went in. So you kick it again, that thing comes loose. So I think you need to kick it in the middle, like so. See? See? Now you start kick everything in, like that. Kick it in, kick this thing in. Now you see the gap. It's still there. <laughs> I've gone over to the other side. Kick. 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 I still don't like that gap. But if it is what it is, then I'm just going to leave it like that. Maybe it will make a difference once I've tightened everything up. Let's see what happens. I've done tightening up the all the loose parts, the corners and whatnot. <clears throat> so it looks good. Uh, what do you think? Now um, I've tightened up the screws on each corner, and let me just show you. So. I like this kind of gap. There's basically no gaps, right? Um, let me just show you the corner that was problematic. This is the one that I'm not too sure whether I did something wrong. Okay, but, uh, that, but that gap is just too big uh, for me. And uh, the rest are okay. All the screws are all uh, uh, from the um, Titan uh, over on this side as well. The gap is okay, the gap is good. See, even this, this part right here has been closed down, except for the corner right here, but it's not too noticeable. Uh, I'm thinking that perhaps this should have been out right here. That's what I think, but not too sure how that can be done when it is attached to the frame of the, or the foot of the Prestera half rack. I guess this is as good as it gets, you know, I mean, the, it doesn't impact the, the platform at all. It's just that um, aesthetically, for someone like me, it's a bit bothersome. <laughs> but it's okay, right? As long as it's functional, I'm okay. As long as from a distance it looks nice, I'm okay, right? So. I have to uh, stop now because I need to go for my Friday prayers. I'll be back to fix the, uh, the, the cross member of the Pressera. And then this thing is done. And after that, I have to unbox a few more stuff over there. And uh, I think we're almost done. With the exception of a few things that we need to carry up, which I'm going to do tomorrow. And the new, if you can see way at the end there, right before the IPF combo rack is the new powerlifting training station. 
which I will do another video of. All right, see you after I come back from Friday prayers. Uh, I just got back from my Friday prayers and now it's time to continue uh, my work. Uh, first of all, I need to put the cross member uh, on top of the uh, Presera half rack, but I have a choice right now. Okay, so I actually bought the, um, uh, the normal J cup and also the um, safety arms uh, where it's not the gliding type like the one that I have on the Presera right now. Uh, I was thinking of actually using those, but I think um, in terms of in terms of showroom, I think this one looks uh, a bit better than than uh, those two. And uh, I think I'm just going to leave it, leave the gliding J cup and um, safety arm on the half rack and just put on the uh, the cross member. All right. So on the cross member right now, I have the. Straight pull-up bar, I would like to say. And this is about the only thing that I'm probably going to change. And I bought the adjustable pull-up handle, so I'm just going to replace, replace uh, this one with those. And uh, I think that should look nice. But before that, I need to um, take that out and then put the cross member up and then only, uh, what do you call this, uh, install the adjustable handles okay if i put the adjustable handles first that's going to be really heavy and if i'm doing this alone which i am it's going to be very very dangerous and difficult all right i just want to show you that i've already um, hooked up the cross member to the upright and then i've already hooked up the adjustable handles to the cross member <laughs> so anyway right now i'm just going to tighten up all the bolts and then we are done with this half rack and also the platform insert alhamdulillah i just finished completing the installation of the presera insert platform as well as the uh, presera half rack and as you can see i've also uh, loaded up with a lot of the, uh, its attachment you can see on the platform itself there are more attachments for the Prestera now let me just run through with you um, some of the attachments that I have bought for for this particular showroom number one behind me right here is the um, deep module and obviously you can just put it anywhere and you can just take it off it's very easy to take off just this uh, metal pin uh, very easy to put on and uh, I must say that everything feels very stable. Uh, I am still 115, 16 kgs, if, if I'm honest. Uh, and the, the, the whole rack and the platform is not even shaking, obviously, because everything is just um, uh, connected together, right? So it's one big unit of equipment. Next, obviously, when I bought this half rack, I actually bought the fitness half rack. The fitness half rack comes with this uh, gliding J cup and also gliding safety arms. Uh, and then uh, I've mentioned the straight pull up bar that they came with it as well. Uh, also, we have here, <laughs> I mean, like all these little things that uh, attachments that they have. This is a step plate right here where as I understand it, it's where you step to reach up to the pull-up handles. Uh, obviously, which leads me to the next one, which is the adjustable pull-up handle uh, that you see here. This is easily adjustable. Just pull this thing and then move it. So there is, there's also numbering there for you to make easy adjustment from left and right. Yep. And then oh, this deep module is just blocking my way but if I just hang and shake this thing it's pretty sturdy the knurling on this handle similar to the one that we have for the XF80 uh, double half rack um, it's just that because the, f the frame of the Prestera is smaller it's 70 cm no, it's not 70 cm 70 mm by 70 mm as opposed to the normal 3x3 which is, which is on the XF80 
Um, so that's why they had to redesign, I think, the uh, what you call this, the bracket of the adjustable handles. Next, we have this hook. <laughs> it's probably the most useless piece of fitness attachment, but it does help you um, place your bands, right? So this, is where, this is the purpose of this thing. Or if you're Malaysian, you can put your uh, Te Bunkus over here and then just hang it, right? Uh, next, what we have is the barbell holder, barbell storage. Um, not too sure whether this is how it's supposed to be um, installed, but uh, this is the, first of all, this makes the most sense because there is a, I really don't know what the material is called, it's the same material as um, this thing, as I think as same as the safety arm. So that, little, that plasticky thing that protects the, the bar and also the metal, so that should be on top, right? And then the only, the only location that I can put this bar holder is the very top of the rear upright of the half rack or else the bar will not fit. So when the bar uh, holder is right at the, at the top, then the bar is just hanging quite nicely. Okay, so that's where I put the bar holder. Uh, other than that, we have the, the normal safety arms right here. So this uses the magnetic pins. I honestly prefer this than the gliding one, uh, just because you, know, you can just take it off if you don't want the safety arms on the rack for some reason. Uh, similarly, with the uh, J cups, these are also something that I like. This comes comes with rollers as well, so same thing as the gliding J cup, but it's easier to handle, uh, you know. So. That's that. And of course, you've seen the uh, straight pull-up bar, which I will keep aside. And for all those um, uh, attachments that I cannot use with this Presera half rack, probably I'll just keep it for the next Presera rack that I'm gonna get. Inshallah, if business go well, business goes well and I do make a lot of sales, then definitely I'll get another uh, either a double half rack, pressure double half rack, or a power rack. But I'm I'm more inclined towards the double half rack because I really like how you know you have two sides of uh, the racks, the rack. And lastly, I actually bought this as well. This is um, this is a band pack, right? And you cannot use this uh, with the Presera uh, platform inset. Okay, so it actually goes here and obviously because you have the platform you can go inside so basically it goes from the other side actually lastly we have the landmine uh, which i have I've attached on the upright so if we don't have the svr platform what you can do is actually put the uh, landmine on the feet of the half rack instead of the upright so and this thing uh, comes this is an upgrade from the old one that we, the joystick helico joystick that uh, we have um, for for many years so inside here you can see there's uh, that plastic thingy that i was referring to so that it protects the bar uh, from scratching and this thing rotates like every which direction right and that's why you can just hang it on the upright and you can do your landmine workouts so that's all folks for this particular uh, vlog episode i hope you've enjoyed it and if you did please uh, click that like button and uh, if you like our content please do subscribe and turn on the notification if you have any questions about the presera half rack the platform insert, the installation, and if you need if you need my help, just leave your comments in the comment section below. And if you need to get in touch with me, my contact details are in the description. Okay, guys, again, thank you for watching, and I hope to see you again in the next Zifit TV episode. Bye.